Looking to spice up your phonics lesson? In this video, I'm going to show you some fun games that you can do with your learner. These games can be done in the classroom or at home. Regardless, these fun games should keep your learner engaged. The first phonics activity I have for you is Hidden Coin. And in this activity, I'm going to secretly put the coin behind one of these letters here. Now, in this activity, I'm going to be showing you how I would play this game to practice letter sounds. However, you can obviously do this with other skills. You can practice with sight words. You can practice with digraphs, with diphthongs, any type of skill, essentially. You could even do it with other subjects like math. But anyways, so I, what I do is I tell the students, okay, we're gonna be practicing our letter sounds. Let's go over the sounds that we've learned. B, t, a, k. Now close those pretty little eyes of yours. And I have them close their eyes and I'm gonna hide the coin in one of the letters. And once I'm ready, I'll say, all right, the coin is hidden, who can find it? And I'll have them take turns, or if it's just them, just, just one student, just go through each one and decide if the coin is behind that letter. They have to tell me the letter sound first before we can check. So Johnny says, it's behind B. All right, let's check. No, not behind B. Sally says, it's behind K. All right, let's check. It is behind K. Nice job, Sally. Just a quick tip for this activity. So if there, if you want a short game and you have a lot of young learners with short, shorter attention spans, I would suggest no more than five or six cards to start with. If you would like to play the game longer or you have students that like a really big long challenge, obviously you can give them more cards and more skills to practice. This game I call Cover the Board. I don't know why I named it. it. You know, obviously I'm not very creative right now, but basically what they need to do is they need to cover up all of these pictures and I'm going to give them clues on how to find the picture that I want them to cover up. Now, this is typically a board game, which you can actually find in my free resource library. I'll link it down below. But for this one, I am going to give them a clue of the picture I am thinking of, and they basically just cover it up with any type of tool or little toy. I have these coins here that I'm going to use as, as an example. So basically I'll say, I'm looking for a picture that has the b sound in the beginning. Who can find the word or the picture that has the b sound in the beginning? Oh, there's b bed, there's b box. In this one I can have them practice blending each isolated sound. So I am looking for Eh, mm. Who can find h, eh, mm. Oh, it's hen. There's hen. Okay, or I can do ending sounds. I can t say, let's look for words. Let's look for pictures that have the t sound at the end. T sound. Oh, here's one. H, eh, t. That's an ending sound. I can do middle vowel sounds. I'm looking for a word or a picture that has the uh sound. Uh sound. Ooh, that's a k uh up cup. I could write a word down on a piece of paper. For example, I can practice phonics with them or blending reading with them. And I can hold up this card. I'm looking for this word. Up, cop, cop. Hmm, which one? Do you see a cop anywhere? Cop? Oh, there's one. Cop. 
okay? Or I don't even need to be there. I can have a list of words that match all these pictures and I can put them down on the side and they can just take turns picking out a word, reading it, and then covering up the picture that matches the word. This next activity is called the train game. Well, I call it the train game. And I actually got this idea from a really awesome YouTuber named Julia at Home. I'll or link her uh, channel down below in the description. Basically, there are three train carts or cars or whatever you call it. My son likes to correct me. Anyways, so this I would use as a um, blending activity, but like I said, with a lot of these games, you can change up the skill. So, for example, I'm going to have the letters C, A, B. I have the letters C, A, B, and I'm going to have them blend these sounds together. We have K, A, B. Let's say them each sound separate. K, A, B. Now let's try to sing the sounds together. Cab. Now let's say it fast. Cab. Choo choo. And the train goes away. And I can change up any of the letters or make a whole or change up all the letters. And now we have this word. And like I said, this activity I showed for blending, but you could do this for all different types of skills. Comment down below what kind of skills would you practice your learner with using this game. I'd love to hear the ideas. That's it my friends for this video. Is there any activity that you feel your learner would enjoy? Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. If this video has been helpful for you, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new videos come on. Share it with all your friends and family and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.